All right, guys, for y'all that know me, know that I like coolers about as much as I like flashlights. So I was looking for a cooler that I didn't have to keep in the back of my truck. I could literally just put it inside the back of my truck, use it, come home, take out the ice packs, throw them in the freezer, put the ice packs back in the next day because all my drinks are pre-chilled pre anyway. So this actually fits in my small little deep freeze. So as you can tell, it is pre-chilled. <clears throat> I've got a 20 pound bag of ice and I've got some pre-chilled drinks here in the refrigerator. So we're going to throw some ice in here, put some chilled drinks in here and sit this outside and see how long ice retention will last. And then we will go over some uh, overviews of this product of what things are, how they are, all these cool little features it has as well and uh but let's get to the right ice retention test so let's get started it is 528 so it has officially been one day so uh we took the drinks out of this because i'm sure uh, i learned from the last video didn't think about it that you know, hey, fill it up to the top with ice. We don't want no airspace of uh, drinks or anything being in there. So we're just going to see. We're going to open this thing once a day. Uh, and we're going to see, you know, how long this lasts. We took all the drinks out and we filled this completely up to the top. So as you can see, it's still pretty close to being there. Still hard as a rock. So, uh, all right, there's day one. All right, guys, day two of the cooler challenge and just so y'all know the sun comes up over there and sets over there so i've got the cooler out here like this so the hottest part of the day the cooler is pretty much in that heat so uh day two let's open it up here and see what we got how she's looking oh suction good all right still still pretty good in there still looking great you can tell still looking good 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 lots of ice in there still so uh moving on let's go to see what happens for day three see y'all soon all right guys it has been a little over it is a uh, 4 39 and uh, i just got home from work so we're gonna see what we got here <sighs> Got quite a bit in there quite a bit still so uh moving on to another day let's see it's been pretty hot it's uh 94 right now so we'll see so we'll see y'all tomorrow all right guys just got home and uh it is now 5 23 uh so i had to had to load my equipment back in the garage here i still got to park my trailer but uh <clears throat> oh let's see what we got today how much do we have left there's still a little bit in there uh not much but this is oh it's ice cold though um but there's still still quite a bit plus there's more in there so it might make it uh it might make it overnight we'll see so uh like i said temperature's been crazy around here so we'll just see, uh, we'll check it in the morning, it's probably about six, and then uh, I think it'll probably be done by then maybe, but uh, we'll see, so we'll continue. All right, got some rain last night, well needed, well needed. So, our cooler's wet. But let's see uh see what we got in this thing here. Ready? Let's see what time it is first. It's like eight o'clock. Uh we got eight oh nine in the morning. So let's see if we still got anything. Nothing left. Nothing left. The end on that. So uh no more ice. All water. All water. All right, let's do a conclusion of this thing. 
All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about this cooler here. So if you go to Amazon and you type in Landworks Cooler, then uh, you'll get a couple different options come up. The one we did the ice retention test is the 20-quart cooler. So uh, they do have a coupon right now. So if you use this coupon, 15% extra savings, then it puts it down to $110.00. 49 cents and that includes prime shipping so uh, we're gonna get right into this and show you some of the stuff that this has so the land works cooler has up to uh, they claim up to a 10 day ice retention and that is if it's pre-cooled and kept in low temps and UV index it is food grade safe dry ice compatible and it will hold approximately 23 12 ounce can capacity with no ice in the cooler, of course. And uh, so the construction of this thing, uh, there's a lot of roto molded coolers out there, as you can tell. This is a roto molded cooler, and it has uh, commercial grade insulation on it, three inch thick insulated walls, and then it has a UV protective shell all the way around it commercial grade seal so the seal right here that you see is a commercial grade sealer uh, freezer style it's a 15 millimeter gasket for helping with keep all the code air in there it's got a recessed zero leak drain plug let's show you that here so here's your drain plug so uh, then the cool thing about this is this part right here is so when you close this cooler, you can open this and let the air out of this cooler and then cl uh, tighten it back up so it can be sealed airtight because this right here is a pressure relief valve system. So uh, <clears throat> your latches, go to your latches here, your latches are T-clasp latches. Uh, they're tight and lock it tight here and they are flush with the outside of the cooler right in this area as you can tell so uh, the weight of this cooler empty 16.7 pounds and then uh, you know it's it, it was definitely a great cooler for for what it did for what I used it for and uh, the handle here is is nice and padded plus it also locks up into this position whenever you put it straight up it actually has a lock to uh, hold it in that position there as well so uh, you have dual built-in stainless steel bottle openers Let's see if we can show you them here so here's your bottle openers Whoop, there we go so you've got dual uh, bottle openers on this thing it is literally just packed with all kinds of whoo see if we can get out of that there we go uh, it's packed with all kinds of, of great features here. So um, you've also got locks on it as well. So here's your here's your little locks on the lid. If you can tell, here we go. Locks on the lid here. <clears throat> this has a measure up top for whatever reason you may need. Goes all the way up to 13 inches. Uh, I do have this, as you've seen, the white one is the one that I have. So this is, was a great cooler, especially for the heat that we had that day. Uh, it was definitely, definitely a great cooler for, for the heat index that we had going. So that's just some of the features of this cooler. And uh, like I said, if you want to know more about it, you can go to Amazon, type in Landworks Cooler, and then it'll come up. Uh, and if y'all got any questions, just comment down below, let me know, and maybe I'll be able to answer them for you. But uh, let me know down below, guys, what do you think of this cooler? We've got other coolers coming up for ice retention tests as well, so be watching out for them. And uh, Landworks, thank you. Actually, this was from Great Circle. Thank you for uh, asking me to do this ice retention test. It was uh, fun, and I did it several times just to see if I was going to get consistent results which I did. So uh, there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.